Good morning everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Lynn and Annie's definitely the old man. Happy old Miss folks. We hope you've had a fantastic Easter. Easter, it is now Good Friday. It is, yes. I'm We're off to, to Takaroo. Again. Meeting up with some friends, aren't we? Well, meeting up with some people. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a mini mini get together, as I said on the last one, to discuss uh, details for our meet. Uh, meet up. But it's also an excuse to get together, have a drink, or one, or two, or yeah. three. Uh, Taku is going to be a bit different this weekend because they've got a pop up marquee apparently or something. Yeah, they've got uh, toilet showers, a few electric points, pop up shop. So, yeah, it looks really interesting. It'd be nice to see how they've done it and. Uh, what it's all about. And we're looking to uh, arrange a mini meet-up in September. Yeah, but they do only have 40 spaces, so we're trying to work out how on earth to sort this out. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, it'll be good. Yeah, looks good. There was something I was going to say. I don't well, know. Oh, yeah, I haven't got my barber coat on. Yeah, so those who don't know, she's had a new <laughs> coat. Yeah, but I thought, it's going to be cold, it might rain. So I've had absolutely nothing again. Yesterday, he was looking at everything online, wanting something. So we're either he wanted a, either a barber coat or some um, more walking boots. Then he went for a kadak, which I think we should have had gone for because the kadak we do I'm, need. I'm definitely going to buy the kadak. You know the what's it called? It's oh, the pro three is it? You know the one with the two burners? Two burners, it's like in a suitcase. Yeah. We watched lots of reviews last night. And apparently it's supposed to be fantastic, you know, because it's got the sides as well to put on to, for the wind. One thing I didn't know is, because we've looked at the Dometic one, thinking, well, it might not be as good as the Kodak, which we didn't realise, Dometic actually bought out Kodak. So it's exactly the same product. Yeah. So, but I haven't compared prices or anything yet, but yeah, we're going to do that. Yep. So I'm looking forward to my new Kodak. Yeah, last last night, because we, we got the curtains closed because it was dark, we were at the static. Could, uh, kept hearing what we thought was the tractor. I thought, that can't be the tractor. And it was. They were actually dragging caravans and even a, a Hyman motorhome onto the, the rally field for the, this weekend. I yeah. just really hope the weather picks up for everybody because haven't we had some bloody rain? Yeah, the, the rain is, you know, the water we have uh, is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. unbelievable. Brilliant. So before we go to Takaroo, we are going to the Truckers Rest, that cafe that we went, truck stop, that we went to, I don't know, a few Takaroos ago, because the breakfast is phenomenal. Yeah, and we just phoned up to make sure they're open because it's Good Friday. Yeah, we just literally got into the motorhome and I said, it might be closed because it's Good Friday. So I called them and they're open till nine o'clock tonight. Happy with that, folks? Happy! Well, it's not very happy for the people working there, though, is it? Well, some people have to earn money, don't they? They can't have a life unless you like it. And look, it's bright. It's cloudy, but it's bright. Please stay like it for us and everybody else. Hope yes. you, yeah, I hope it was all good for you over Easter. Right, I'm going to go because my arm is absolutely killing me from holding a camera out. Oh, we're so excited about this weekend. We are. We'll we... catch up with you in a bit, folks. Yes. And here we are. And here we are, the folks. The Truckers Rest Cafe. Overnight parking, but well, I think that's for truckers. But we're not parking here. We're going to Dakaroo. Yeah, but here it is. And honestly, it was one of the best breakfasts we have ever had. Yes. We just need somewhere to park. Absolutely lovely it was. So we'll park up, go in the calf and get some food, because I'm, I'm actually starving. I thought you were going to say we get hammered. Oh, not yet. In a bit. <laughs> well, that was an absolutely beautiful food and we forgot to take the camera with us. Unbelievable. Well, they don't want to watch us eating our breakfast soon. No, I know, but we could have took them around. But anyway, we didn't. Um, yeah, we've met up with uh, the ones that we're eating up with here. And now we're on our way to Takaroo and we've got blue skies and blue skies and a bit of cloud. But absolutely brilliant. Loving it. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. So we are here people at Takaroo. We're just waiting for our friends to catch up with us. I don't know where they've gone. I think they've gone for another breakfast. I thought they'd have actually been in front of us because we are big, whereas they've all got small vans, so they would have gone a different direction. But no, we've still got here before everybody. They're probably lost, got lost. Looks like there's a few here, up the top. 
we won't find that out until we get up there. I know, but I'm so interested to see what this one, this is going to be like this time. It is Takaroo with a difference, as I said before. It's got toilet showers and a pop-up shop. Apparently. Hopefully they'll sell lots of things in the shop. Maybe a coat. Got one. Shut up, then. Getting excited. Do you like opening the gate? No. <sighs> yeah, I've got the camera. <sighs> She's got the curry between her legs. I have. I've uh, got a big pot of curry there for everybody tonight. It's a hot one though. I hope they've all. Uh, hope they all like hot cu hot curries. Yeah, they've all got plenty of toilet paper. Look at the rain that we've had. Oh well. The sun's out. I don't want to get me bus dirty. I know you spent ages cleaning it, didn't you, yesterday? Yes. There's got to be a few up here, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, I know we say it every time we come, and this is the fourth time we've been here. But isn't it beautiful? Just like you, my little angel. Shut up, Robert. Wow. Lovely place. Lovely, lovely place. Right, we've got here, people. We're all set up, no problem at all. As yeah. you can see, we're parked there. No fuss, no missing. And then, given, <laughs> and, the, and then we've got these, the village idiots, putting their tent up there. Yes, but we are going to try. Have you already mentioned this? No. No. We've got to send this and you absolutely couldn't wait for it to arrive, could yeah. you? It is a jump starter with air compressor, engine start, power bank, LED light, air inflation. Yes. So we're going to see. We're hoping it'll blow that up. I hope it's got the right connection to it. So I'll hold the camera and you can have a play. Yeah. So they bought, uh, what is it, Berghaus? Berghaus. Berghaus 400. 400 XL. Yeah, anyway, they bought a tent. I know it's a room is complicated uh, <laughs> things. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how they get on, get it up. Now, believe it or not, folks, I've tried to help. I've blew this one section up here. And then this dipstick here, just let it down. You idiot. <laughs> Put it up once again, and it come down again. He's doing, he keeps letting it down. So now you've got to take it out slowly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said last night. There's <laughs> four, I think. I think there's four bits, yeah. Right, four, to, be honest, to be honest, folks, if it wasn't for me, it wouldn't go. Yeah. True subscriber, look, got his top on. Yeah, come on, Gary, show your top. There, look. You know, this is the, the I was going to swatch this way then, but this is the idiot. <laughs> 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 that we call Gary. To be honest, though, what a crack, what a cracking tent. Well, it will be, when it's all... It's huge. What she said last night. You wish. What? Right. Happy. So, this is the difference with it this time. You've got a lovely pop-up shop and actually somewhere to sit and have a coffee. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Little Mark Eel. Don't know what time it's open from hotel, but we will find out. Yeah. Eight o'clock. Eight till six. Yeah. Eight till six. There you go. Perfect. Uh, let's have a quick look inside. Keep that dog away from me. He's <laughs> got his stick today. She's lovely. There you go. So you got tables and chairs. All your accessories. A proper pump. A proper pump. That's what Gary could do with. Uh, you've got lights, mugs. That's what it is. Is that silicon? No. Ah. That's what I was looking That's for. That's a shame because if silicon, we'd have bought one. You've got can openers, you know, you've got it here. That's great, isn't it? What? Yeah, it's not the one you wanted there. Is Camping it? stoves. Everything. Just basically everything you'd find in a accessory so shop. Cowpaw? I think, well, I need some paracetamol being with these. You need, for the you need some cowpaw? No, I need paracetamol <laughs> after being with these last. Hairbrushes, toothpaste, pot noodles, bread, there eggs, is. collapsible bowls. Buckets, football, something to play about with, ice creams. Are you gonna buy me an ice cream? No. Yeah, great, absolutely Absolute. perfect setup for and the weekend. And open up, open as we said, from eight in the morning till six at night. Yeah. But this is only for the Easter holidays. Yeah, we keep saying it, folks. We're well, coming along to Takaru. Don't forget to look at new toilets. There's your yeah. games for the kids. Yeah. We've got a drinks fridge, milk. A lovely lady behind the counter. And they actually do mobile phone charging here, £2 for two hours. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a rip off, isn't it? 
well. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. Because e-bikes, charging the batteries back up is a problem sometimes off-grid. But uh, yeah, if you can charge them up here. I'd love one. Yes, please, thank you. Yeah, great. And they've even got clothes. There you go. That's what I should have bought you here for your coat. They don't sell barber. I do like these though. Yeah. Yeah. That's just what I need, Perfect for a weekend retreat. Here, a camp chase, a takaru. Happy with that, folks? Happy. And also on this side, they've got brand new showers. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm going because my feet are dirty. But there you go. Perfect. And they smell brand new as well. <laughs> yeah, really good. And, and how, many, how many showers have you got? It's one block of showers. One block of showers. And then one block of toilets. The ladies' toilets in there. These are the ones that deliver Tuesday. And then you've got the men's in there. I don't usually do toilets, but I will, because they're brand new. Very clean, spotless, as you can imagine. <sighs> yes. What more could you want, folks? For a weekend at Takaru. Perfect. There you go, folks. It's all coming together now, slowly but surely. Me, personally, I don't think it's like quite taut enough, but... Maybe when they get the uh, lines down, it will be better. What do you want, my little fruitcake, my little angel, my little pineapple, my little crab to, apple? I need you, I know you can't, they don't want it yet, but I need you to move the power station out of the way. Yes. So I can turn the chairs around and do finish doing my jobs. Yeah, okay. What a fantastic weekend this turned out to be, people, here at Takaru and Calic Chase. It will, it really is. I mean, we'll show you the setup that we've got tomorrow, but yeah. uh, we've got the sun canopy out, which, sun canopy, it's been a rain canopy, hasn't it? Yes, because it has absolutely hammered it down. It's persisted it down. So I'm Lynn is now preparing coriander, ripping coriander to shreds. So I'm doing. She got the curry on there, look. Heating yeah. up nicely. That is a lot of curry, but there are seven of us. Yeah. And I hope they're hungry. They probably will be. I'm doing. We are. We've actually had electric. We weren't going to, but uh, it was available. So we thought, well, why not? And then it's better for me to, to be able to cook and to get everything ready to feed the 5,000. Well, that's what it feels like I'm feeding. <laughs> You're looking really pretty today. I'm really not though, am I? I think so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Shut up, Robert. Good morning, folks. It is now Saturday morning, is it? It is. Do you want a little step? I could do with something. I know you could do with something. <laughs> what a great night we had last night. Didn't stop laughing. What time is it, boy? All night. Half past seven in the morning. Oh, is that all it is? And I'm up ready, dressed. I was five o'clock, I was up like a log. Unbelievable. He's even took Mavis out this morning. Yeah, took the dogs a walk, had a little jog for about a couple of miles. Yeah, right. So, <sighs> we're going to do a cup of tea, go in the uh, shelter, clean that up. Where we were last night, yeah, because I, as you know, I made a curry for everybody. It's bloody mm. lovely, folks. It was. So, was we it? have got <sighs> Steve there, uh, Gary and Jill there. Phil and George there, and that's where we spent the night in there. It was bloody cold though, wasn't it? I got my dry robe on, but well, I'm not changing robe. Yeah, because the trouble is, the trouble. I was <coughs> The trouble is with that shelter. There's about that much gap off the well, floor. It, it's a sun shelter, mm. not a not a rain and wind shelter. And gosh, did the rain? Gosh, gosh, didn't the rain come down? <sighs> it hammered it down. But today it's supposed to be dry and sunny all day. And it's beautiful. I've never seen so many vans. No, it is rammed. Yes. And we did, on a good note, because you mentioned having a meet up here, didn't you? On a good note, I think we can get to 70 on here, not 40. Yeah, 70 vans, people, so, so you know. Yeah, we, I'm going to try and sort it out with the owner today. I think uh, David, the owner, is going to be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so we might arrange that for September. Yeah. But we'll see how we get on, eh? Oh, we will. Once the children have gone back to school. We might do it midweek as well, haven't we? Yeah. Don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Mark, we'll have a chat and... Change of the subject to uh, Jill and Gary's uh, tent is amazing. Isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, yeah. I'm going to take you in it after, well, when they get up. <laughs> we'll we'll help, yeah. yeah. We better wait for them to, but, to uh, get up. They've got those air beds, you know, which uh, they've got a, a pump inside built in. 
the way they've got it set up actually makes me want to get a tent because they've got a double oh. bed each. <coughs> so like I could have a whole double bed, you could have a whole double bed, but I think we'd send, we'll sit, we'd still end up together though. No, we? we wouldn't. I mean, but they haven't put the divider in because there's a room divider, isn't there? So they've just got it open so it's two double beds. I yeah. would have the room divider. And it is so comfortable. Yeah, I'll take you in and have a look in a bit. Well, come on, get the tea done. And the power bank. That's that was working well, but they've got a fridge. And it was taking out 75 watts. Yeah, it's not the right fridge they for the job. They need a compressor fridge. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's a learning curve. I mean, they've had tents before, but yeah. Yeah. But we'll, if, have a, we'll have a good look and show you around everywhere. I'll be a bloody wordy. What was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, with the Afri power bank, the, the big one. What's it called? The 310. Three, Three, P310. P3, I think so. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that one. Ideally, in the... On a summer's day, they can have the solar fault solar panel plugged into it, so you know it's putting back in more than it's taking out. Yeah, we just wanted I mean. to to lend it to them and to put it through a really good test over a weekend of camping, yeah. fridge, kettle, everything that they're using, yeah. lights, uh, and they've got even got a heater, haven't they? Which yeah. we had on last night in the in the hub. Yeah, so it will be interesting. Right, come on, let's crack on. Give us a kiss. No, I'm okay. waiting for the kettle to boil, so you can have a cup of coffee in about what two hours, because I've got it on the electric plate. But you're not going to use your own gas. I'm rambling. I'm going. <laughs> oh, shut up, Lynn. Now, Steve here wants to show you his van. Yeah? Yeah. There you go, mate. Go <clears> take <throat> him and have a look. That's Steve, by the way. <laughs> That's Rob. <laughs> so, I have a 2004 uh, Nissan Prima Star. Bought it. Converted. Done it. I've got a TV. Up there, storage there, a fan, more storage in there, more storage in there. Got my Wi Fi, two burner hob, sink, it's got running water, uh, wastewater tank, up cool fridge freezer, bin, diesel eater in there, microwave, more storage, rock and roll bed. And then with these litre fuel tank in there, inverter, lithium down there, gas. And then we've got one of them gas fired boilers at the back. You can just see that there where you can put a shower, rock and roll bed, plenty of storage, little mats all the way along. Plenty of height, swivel seat, that's about it really. That is about it, it's not really a big van, but does the job, happy with that. Boy Gary, I'm gonna ask you a question now, two questions. Okay, you've known us for a while now, haven't you? We have. Okay, so what do you think of Lynn? Brilliant. That's it. So what do you think of me? F.I. <laughs> no, they're great. Bloody love them to bits. I feel that, folks. Love them to bits. I'll move on to the next person in a minute. The best ever. Thanks, mate. I'll give you that tenner after. That's OK, mate. Anything. Whatever you can spare. Come on, Jill. See, this is what communal camping is all about. Everybody pulling the weight. Cooking. <laughs> I feel that. Jill, I want to ask you a question. Right, away. You've known us for a while now, both of us. Yeah. What do you think of Lynn? Oh, she's lovely. Very uh, nice. Yeah? Very nice lady, yeah. Okay. Puts up with a lot. So, what do you think of me? Um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Steve, I'm going to ask you a question. What's going You've known us for quite a long time now. Yes. What do you think of Lynn? Short. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think of me? No. You've got to laugh. Thanks, mate. George, you want to say anything? No. George is shy. She's very shy, look. Bless her. Phil, well. yeah. do you want to say something? No, thank you. Why not? Have you asked Dave the question? Yes, he just cocked it up. Oh, look, you're very pretty. Shut up, Frogger. You're going to kill me later, Lynn. <laughs> well, at least I'll be long gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's very, very busy this weekend, folks. It is. Well, for this morning, this goes on till about 12, what a time is it now? Yeah, it's just... Uh, Quarter to 12. It goes on till about 12-ish. A uh, bit of a push bike activity for the children. Yeah. It's a bit chilly when the sun drops. It is, but uh, mainly we're just saying it's uh, fantastic. You know, if you've got a group of friends come to Takaroo, form a little circle like we have done and just have a laugh. It's brilliant. Oh, it's we had such a good night last night. We really did. And then you walk about 50 yards away from where we parked. And this is a different direction than we've been before. Yeah. But look at this. It's Beautiful. Just... And the sun's gone in, so it doesn't look as good as it did two minutes ago. Yes, it's a fantastic atmosphere here at Takaroo this weekend. It's a party atmosphere. Yes. Instead of what we used to, which is a very quiet, peaceful. Yes. So it's something totally different. It's Takaroo with a difference. Yeah. Very busy. So people have come in teepees, tents, motorhomes, caravans. Campers. Campers. Subscribers, old and new. <laughs> We love you. We do. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Because as we've said before, many times probably, you can just come on here and just park wherever you want. Yeah. I mean, you know, find your spot and just park up. Love it. And have a great time. I know we say it, well, we say it all the time, but we absolutely love it here. And I'm going to get run over. You're walking. Beautiful place. Right, we've just met the lovely owner, David, from Takaroo. Go then, David. Why should people visit Takaroo? Well, I think Takaroo, it's not like everywhere else, is it? You know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of when you go to a campsite, the first thing you get is a list of rules. You know, I think... Um, That's some, very true. You know, I, I, I like, you know, just a bit, of, yeah, a bit of space where you can live and let live and, uh, you know, enjoy just being around the, the nature and the... I say peace and quiet you can hear lots of children enjoying themselves on easter bank holiday at the moment but uh yeah you know and for me it's just a place I'll, I'll come in the middle of the week and just have a bit of time out to myself and you know it's a, some sort of healing part you know thing in that isn't it just Definitely. being on yeah. your own and stuff back to nature because yeah, it's I your it. favorite place isn't it? it is i keep banging on about it but it is yeah i could actually live here yes that's our plans to buy him out and come and live here. <laughs> but then we'd shut the campsite down. <laughs> and just us. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. Much My appreciated. Pleasure. What yes. a lovely man. Yeah, David, the uh, owner, is a very helpful, relaxed bloke. Yeah. And he was just saying he wants it to be like, you know, the great outdoors, which it is, instead of over commercialising the place. Yeah, what, what they're doing this week was just an experiment. It's only a pop up thing. Yeah. It's good, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've just found out he's got another site, but a pop-up site uh, in the summer, which we're going to go to, aren't we? Yeah, and apparently, and find out what apparently it's 32 acres, more open than the uh, Takaroo. So we will go and have a look Beautiful at that at some sunsets. point. Yeah. Oh, and we're hitting the mud now, I'm sliding. And we're back to our base. But this, to us, is the best thing to do with friends, so you can camp in a circle. You can't do that on a caravan campsite, can you? That's really true, my little food game. It's just great, it's lovely. Yeah, you can't whack it, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Good morning, folks, it is now Sun Easter, Easter Sunday. Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday to you all. Even let's, do our, it. let's do our bunny jumps. <laughs> Shake my head and walk off, as usual. Oh. You've got such a mixture of vans here, haven't you? Yeah, there's a, an overlander yeah, up the top. Yeah, that cute little teardrop on there. Apparently. A teardrop look. She got in a mess yesterday. Yeah, she got in a bit of a mess yesterday, but we helped her out. It's all right now. The lady, to, lady on her own. I'm trying to get the bacon out my teeth. <laughs> yeah, we just uh, had a communal breakfast. It was awesome. That's the good thing about coming away with friends, because you can take turns in cooking and yeah. cleaning. Yes. Washing up. No. Yes, all get together, all chuck a bit of bacon, a bit of sausage. Job done. Bloody lovely. You can't whack cooking outside. Mind you, we haven't cooked yet, have we? Yes, I did the curry. Yeah, but that was at home. I still... Oh. You haven't actually cooked, cooked outside. I don't think you've ever cooked outside. I have, and I've got videos to prove it. Have you? Yeah, I did the salmon outside. 
I've I done a curry outside. I don't think you did. I have. It's bloody chilly this morning, folks. It is, what a difference. It's all foggy and I think there's another weather warning coming for tomorrow. More bloody rain. Yeah, so we've got to, I think I'm going to try and, try and get off the grass while it's uh, reasonably dry. I'm keeping out the mud. Yeah, let's have a look at this overlander. Look at that, folks. And on the back it says, we're all just walking each other home. Yeah, from what, what have we been told? They're Canadian and they have actually got the Canadian flag on the back, even though the vehicle's registered in Denmark. Yeah. Wow, what a beast. It actually looks where it should be. Yeah, it does. Yeah, like Lynn just said, that actually looks where it should be. Look at that. Beautiful thing. I'm going to try and get round the front. Yeah, you stay off the grass. Wow. What a machine. Happy with that, folks? Happy. You happy with it? What's the matter? It just looks perfect. That's where it just yeah. looks in the right situation. Yeah. Proper off grid. Perfect. It really is cracking here as an attacker. Can't say enough good about it. That's why we keep coming back. Yeah, but we've never seen it this busy. Mind you, because this is a bank holiday, I suppose. But yeah, wow, what a place. Yeah, if you do want to come and you want it to be quiet the way we like it, the best thing to do is come in the week. Definitely in the week. That's Robin Lynn's tip of the day. Well, Come to Takaroo in the week. Because on the weekend, and obviously in the six weeks holidays, it's going to be busy every day, I would have thought. Yeah. Children love it here, and everybody with a mountain bike, I think, within the 20 mile vicinity, come here. Yeah, love a place for uh, mountain bikes, hiking, walking, push bikes. push bikes. We haven't got the scooters out because it's too cold. Yes, it's bloody freezing. Yeah, when we usually come here, we... Uh, <laughs> we usually come here, we park on this strip here. Solid concrete uh, pad. But as you can see, it is very, very busy. But I do like where we've parked further down and the view. Yeah. Just looking, I sat last night looking at the trees. It was just, you could be anywhere in the world. You are looking beauty. pretty today. I'd like to have a shower. <laughs> yeah, I stuck her in the shower this morning. Kicked oh, her in well, there. You know, for any ladies around my age group, they know what it's like. You just, you wake up ringing wet. Well, have we got a leak? Got to have a shower. It's got to be done. Mm. Yeah, as I said before, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you've got. Everybody's welcome at Takaru. From caravans, <coughs> campers, motorhomes, tents. We've done that yesterday, you know. Did we? Yes. Oh, I've said it again. Because this place is great. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> oh. We've just been talking to the uh, couple who own the uh, Overlander. Uh, lovely people. Come from Canada. And they've sold up and they are living in this fantastic Overlander. And I've just noticed that they're just leaving now. So I'm going to try and uh, get them on film. Get a wave. Here they come. But I've got to get up there in the right position. There they are. Wow, look at that, folks. And they're waving. What a beast. And it's only like uh, seven and a half meters uh, long, that van is, believe it or not. It looks a lot bigger, obviously, because of uh, the height and the, and whatever. But uh, yeah, great van. From an overlander to a tent. This is Jill and Gary's tent, which I showed you yesterday, I think it was. And they were so warm. Uh, they're obviously packing up now, that's why it's empty, but it's so warm and cosy in here. Yeah, just goes to show. Tent, caravan, camper, whatever. 
you can do this. You having trouble getting the pegs out? Yeah, because some dipstick put them in. <laughs> One side off it. <laughs> Come on, mate, you can do this. <laughs> that ain't coming out there. Get your pick on it. Oh. oh yeah, but you've got to get that out of there, haven't you? I'll have a punch you if I drive over that. Oh, you have to hit it in. <laughs> Just like you hit the line, all of them in. <laughs> Look! Look at the potholes! <laughs> I think he, what he's trying to say is he's had to dig holes to find his pegs. Bless him. <laughs> What's the matter? I asked Robert to help me peg. <laughs> he put that in. And I had to get it out. The ground's a bit hard, folks. He's so ungrateful. This one is going to struggle with, I think. What? Well, I just got out the ground. Actually, you might be able to. What's happened to that one, Gary? Hang on. This one might be alright. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. something wrong with him, isn't it? <laughs> They're okay, okay, Gary. Oh, we have had such a laugh. That's like the other one right now, though. We're tip, back in the van, folks. Tip of the day. If you're ever out tenting or you'll need an awning putting up or anything like that, do not get Robert to knock the pegs in for you. <laughs> Gary has now got to go out and buy a new set, a full set of pegs. <laughs> it was so funny. Because where we're actually parked, it's concrete, but you've got grass on top, so... We, yeah, we parked here because of the weight, but... It's old concrete from back in the day, you know, so... Yeah, we've... But uh, we, we have... We have literally cried laughing this weekend. We have had a fantastic time. We have. We really oh, excuse me. You're keeping me awake. Oh, don't, don't. Talking of which, you know, this is my weapon. Just to, you know. Well, Jill and Gary got me a remote. <laughs> You're whacking me with that. You knocked me out. The size of that. Yeah. It actually apparently works as well. Does it? Apparently so. Yes, so, folks, yes. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. Yeah, I really uh, hope you've enjoyed it. We have had an amazing weekend. Don't know what we're doing next weekend, do we yet? Not yet, but we'll be out and about somewhere. I will be on it in a minute when, as soon as I've finished sorting this video out for you. I can't stop, stop you, you. Excuse me. It's because we've lost an hour in it. Oh, no, it's nothing to do with that. It's just I haven't stopped since I came in here. I've cooked your lunch, I've washed up. Tidied up. You can go and take the dogs out in a minute while I dry up and put everything away. Stop it. So, yes, we will uh, end the video here. Yes. We've gone on long enough. Yeah. Do you know what? <sighs> Just in case. Yes, on that note, folks, we will say our farewells. So stay safe for the caravan as most of us tend to drift as far as I'm new. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. <laughs> oh, my neck. In a bit.